What is it, honey? Wait, is that Usher? Yes! Oh, my God! It's coming over! I can't believe this. Oh, oh you hit the table. Hey, how you doing, babe? Uh, hi, uh, Mr. Usher. I, I can't believe it's you. I'm Sarah. <laughs> you have a beautiful smile, Sarah. Sarah, smile. Uh, Woo! Uh, oh, won't you smile about me? Uh, the song? Sarah. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, oh, oh, God. Uh, that was beautiful. This is what I do. Oh, um, <laughs> this is... Uh, Tom. Yes, I'm Tom. <laughs> Just Tom. Hey, how you doing? <sighs> you are so interesting. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, where did you learn to dance like that? Oh, yeah. I've never seen anyone dance like Michael Jackson before. Well, I've been dancing for as long as I can remember. But it's not just the music. I have seen all of your movies. Really? Even Light It Up? I loved Light It Up. I named my dog Light It Up. Girl, please. My mama wouldn't oh, even see Light It Up. Oh, you're so funny. My I'm going to talk to oh, your you mom. Give your email address. I'll call her. <laughs> are you a natural boy? <laughs> you are so funny. Okay, one more. Please, we got to get one more. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get some fresh air. Yeah, it'll be good for my vocals. Walk Sorry, man. <laughs> I'm ticklish. I'm going to tickle you again. <laughs> wouldn't let that shit happen to me, though. You rolling with us. I feel like being facetious as fuck, right? I feel like being facetious, right? So, you know, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this clip. I used a clip from the Boondocks in another uh, episode I did. But now I'm going to use the Usher one for obvious reasons. I don't think I have to say why I would use the... Why I'm using this Usher clip. But uh, I'm going to tell you... You know, I'm going to tell you how to deal with this shit from a, a, an SYSBM point of view and shit. The minute that this nigga get up and come over in front of you talking to your fucking wife, obscuring, obscuring, you know, you from her uh, general field of vision and she's down with you, you look, you checking them out and shit. You see this bitch is way too happy. You know how it is when, you know, a woman really into you, you can see every tooth in their head when they smile and shit. And make no mistake about it. It's like hypergamous criminality and shit. She's being hypergamous right now. You know, because she sees, like, Usher, he's rich, and he's a celebrity and all this shit. She don't care that he's got a sneaky link down, you know, a hot link down, you know, in, below the belt. She don't care about none of that shit. And uh, <laughs> this is what he should do, right? He should just sit there and chill out and shit, you know, have a couple of bites of his little dessert there, you know? You know, just check it out, you know, listen to what they're talking about. And he should, you know, at one point, he should take his motherfucking phone out and get a good ass picture of them together and shit, you know, and then get up, you know, take about like walk like about three paces back or five and take a couple more pictures and shit. She ain't going to see your fucking ass because Usher in her face. And then you come back to the table and when that fat ass waiter show up, you know, with that bill, you tell like, hey, you know, get, get your boy Usher to take care of this bill. I'm going home. And then she's going to probably gonna be there. The white chick probably going to be like, Hey, where you going? Wait up. You know, hey, I'll be with you in a minute. I said, nah, that's okay. Let the usher bring your ass home. I'm going home. You can catch an Uber. You know, you got money. You know, then he just drive the fuck home. Go go on out. Drive the fuck home and shit, man. <laughs> Don't park your car at the house. You know, park it a couple of a feet down from the house and shit. Then go in the crib, man. Go in the fucking house, right? Chill out right there for a few minutes, you know, have a drink. And then you, you, you get on your home computer, right? And you pull up all those articles and shit where he was getting sued for having an STD. You know, and the whole shit with Gloria already gets me YouTube clips. And you just email them to her fucking email and shit. And then you, uh, and you go, you go to the guest bedroom or something to go to sleep and shit. Because, you know, if you leave the house, they can say you abandoned the fucking house and shit. You know, don't put nothing past, especially, you know, the Caucasian woman and shit. Don't put shit past it, but like, you know, if it was a sister, I would say something different and shit. Like, just to be a smartass, if you really want to be a dick about it and shit, if you want to be a dick about it, uh, you could go in the bedroom and pack all her shit up and put it by the door. You know, all the shit that she has in the bedroom, like all her little her panties and all that shit, you know, put it in like a, a suitcase and put that shit by the door. And don't say shit, you know? As a matter of fact, going back to when the restaurant, when you leave and you tell her you bump, you leave it and, you know, let her handle the bill and everything. When she asks you, 
like, you know, hey, wait up, I'm coming. You could just tell her, like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, why you up here skinning and grinning and shit? I got to go pick our, our daughter, our small child up from the babysitter. Okay, you remember the baby you had, you know, with me? That's a, a, a small child. All right, I'm going to leave now, okay? You guys have fun, okay? I'm out, nigga. You know, then bounce out. You know, she going to come home and see all that shit. Fuck that, she probably going to hit the ceiling or something. You just have, make sure you have your camera. I'll talk to her. Say, hey, I'm reporting, okay? Just for my own protection. You know, I'm a I'm a, a district attorney and shit, but I don't make as much as, as Usher and shit, but, I, you know, I do have a prominent position in this community and shit, and I, I just have to protect my interests while you uh, weigh your options with a celebrity that has been sued for having a venereal disease. You say all this shit while you're filming, you know? And don't say shit, you know? And you should probably go to a bedroom, slam the door, and... You know, fuming that bitch and shit. You just ignore her fucking ass for like, if you can, as long as you can ignore her ass and shit, and uh, just keep like come home later and later and shit. You know, Next. all right, come on later and later. When she try to talk to you, don't say shit. You know, eventually she gonna be like, she gonna flip her wig or something, start crying and all that bullshit. And then you can tell her like, hey, uh, you know, you really hurt me. You know, you should probably get the kid involved. When your kid come tell come to you, you say. Hey, I was at, I was having a nice dinner with your mother. I was really happy that, you know, that's why we sent you to the babysitter. Instead of taking care of you ourselves, you know, I wanted to take your mother out on a nice night on the town and enjoy enjoy being in front of her because I'm so happy that she gave me you, my daughter. You're my most precious, the most precious thing in the world, my little girl. And so I wanted to reward her with a dinner. It's the least I could do. And then, unfortunately, Lee, your mother... Uh, was talking to Usher and shit, okay? Usher came over and he stood in front of Daddy so that your mommy could see him. And your mommy didn't care because she was smiling so much, all her, her wisdom teeth almost fell on the floor. All right, her grill popped out. So I don't know what to tell you. You know, if you're going to be on mommy's side, that means you never really wanted me to be your daddy. So, you know, maybe you should go hang out with your mom and Usher, your new stepdaddy and shit, you know? <laughs> then tell her, say, hey, you know, if, if no hard feelings. You want me to... I know where this nigga live. You want me to drop you at, you and your mommy at Usher? And you know, go get her suitcase, you know, pack her shit up again, put it in the back, put it, put that suitcase in the trunk of your car, and then honk the horn in front of your house, like at like nine o'clock at night. Just be honking that horn, say, hey, come on, I'm gonna drop you at Usher crib so y'all can live there, okay? And then I'll get a woman that actually loves me and a daughter too, right? That's been my shitty advice segment. You know, I hope that lightened the mood after the other two videos I just put out. And that's a wrap. You can free a crash dummy. I ain't the smartest motherfucker in the world, but you just another bitch that need gas money. And this is some news you can use. Bitch, a million motherfuckers wanna be in my shoes. Bitch, I'm a legend in these streets. The better kind. How many y'all niggas know where y'all bitch at right now? Never mind. Believe everything that bitch tell you, huh? Don't lie to splurge. Boyfriend, pimpin' nigga shit. What is it? Mine or hers? Mo bait in. Your average nigga break his neck to go to your house. Have I ever been there? Oh, oh, okay then. What I'ma give a bitch a pass for? Spent all that time in school and got a job that ain't got nothing to do with you with your class for. Here goes some real sugar-free tough in there. If the bitch got a gang of play cousins and play brothers, they fucking her. Sugar-free to pee. Look like the game hurt. If the bitch got two or three phones, she either a hoe or a brain surgeon.